Hello everyone, welcome back. So now I'm going to show you how we can use a stem stitch on one of um, our Christmas ornaments. So I have some green felt here. Um, I've cut out a heart shape and I am going to use some gold embroidery um, thread that I found. I've threaded three, um, three strands of embroidery floss. Um, I think it's th that'll be thick enough um, to work with and you know a medium to large needle and I've just knotted it just at one end like so again I keep my thread about 80 centimeters or so long just so it doesn't get knotted when I'm working with it so we are going to um, you uh, do the stitch that we've just learned how to do and we are going to go all the way around the heart so it's going to be inset a little bit in the gold I think it's going to look very uh, very nice so I'm going to start in the center front of the the point of the heart I'm going to bring my needle up through from the back and I have it knotted at the back to secure the stitch and I'm going to make my first stitch okay now so this time we are we have to be conscious of the curve of the heart from the beginning. So I've started my second stitch halfway along the first one and then we'll go down and try and make them a similar size, similar length. Okay, now I'm just going to even my threads out. They seem to be a little bit uneven. I'm just going to make that little pull just to tighten it. And I'm going to go back and make my next stitch. So all the time, just coming just above the threads of the last stitch to form the next stitch. And we have to follow the shape of the curve this time. Okay, I'm starting to get an idea of how it looks. I'll try and keep my threads nice and close together, my stitches, so we don't have gaps. Okay, I am holding it quite tightly because this thread is quite, um, well, it's a little bit, it's a little bit tricky. The metallic threads can just be a little bit more temperamental than the cottons. But so far, I think this looks pretty nice. I'm just going to make that a tiny bit longer. And if you're not happy with any of your stitches, you can always just, you know, just Take them back out as far as you think you should and redo them. Okay. Get a little bit closer. Okay, so we're going around the curve here. So it's giving like a corded effect, which I think looks really, really nice. I'm happy with that so far. So this this can then be used later on then as an applique on one of your stockings or you can turn it into a hanging ornament. So either way, it's best to decorate the front before we attach it onto anything else. Okay, so then all your stitches will be all hidden on the inside. Okay, coming back around the next curve. I think that's quite a nice, nice thickness as well. Take the three strands. Give a nice thickness, nice dimension. And now we're starting to go down one of the long sides. Okay. Just to keep all the stitches, you know, looking the same, I am all the time bringing my needle 
just to the outside as I, as I form my stitches, just to the outside of the previous stitch or above the previous stitch, whichever way you want to look at it. So this is how it looks so far. Okay, so now I've just made a little mistake there. So I'm just going to undo the last stitch. Okay, because I went over the outside, which is, this is a very common mistake. Okay, so I'm just going to undo that stitch. And then what we need to do then is rethread. And the thing about these uh, metallic threads is that they actually they separate very easily. So even though I've got three um, threads, they've separated, so it's more like six. Anyway, that was easy enough to thread. So very easy if you make a mistake, just to double back and, and fix it. Uh, no big deal. Okay, so now we're back on track. Needle to the outside. Now, see what I mean about getting the threads get tangled very easily. Finish the stitch. And keep going. all the time going just above so it does feel like the stitch is kind of on a slant which is correct okay so we're heading down towards the end of the first side Okay, so that's how it looks so far. Very sweet. Um, and now we're going to finish our first side with this, with this stitch. Okay. Now, so now we actually need to change direction. So I'm going back up halfway. And back into the same stitch. Okay, so it's like making a shorter stitch. And I'm going to continue then along the next side and then go back on myself here. Okay, so I've just nearly doubled up those two corners just to make sure I get the, the right effect of the stitch. And then we'll continue on, on the next side. Okay, so I'm halfway along. Like so. Okay, same again. Now they're a little bit apart. I might just take out that last stitch there and just bring it a little bit closer. So I don't really want to start off the second side with that. Of course, you just do that if you if you just feel that it's it doesn't look right. Okay, so we just thread up our threads again. Okay, that worked out. I'm just going to go as close as I can to that stitch. Okay, I think that's a little bit neater. 
Okay. So it's just the beginning of the second side. I just wanted it to look nice and neat coming off that corner of the point at the bottom. Okay. Okay. All the time trying to keep the stitches similar length. Okay, I think this is looking very nice. All the time, halfway along the previous stitch. So I've just made another little mistake there. Instead of going back, I went forward. So I'll just double back. Just fix that. Finish our stitch. Now we're going back to the curve. Okay, so we have to be conscious to follow the the curve. Turning all the time, turning as we go. And then make sure not to split the stitch, so always to the outside. There's how it looks so far. Coming close now, very close to the end. So it's important just to keep the thread nice and neat. Oh, I've come unthreaded. Oh, I just got to snip off those threads at the end. They start to separate. So it's just easier to thread it if you can twist them together. Okay, there we go. And I'll just go back on my, finish my stitch. Halfway along. Now, coming very close to the last few stitches. And keep it as neat as possible. Keep going around the curve. Back on itself. This is looking really nice. Back on itself just for the last. No, I just have to make sure to line that up. I've tried to nearly brush the last few stitches. So if we just bring that down into the point at the front. Okay, 
I'm just going to tighten those stitches because one is just a little bit loose. So we just tighten that. And I've just gone back into that little stitch there just at the point. And then I'm going to go halfway along that stitch there on the other side of the point and bring that down into the center point like so just to finish it off and I think that looks really neat really nice and I'm going to just knot it there at the back okay now we don't have to worry about any of those threads at the back because they're going to be hidden but I want to make sure to do a nice secure little knot you can see how my threads are all separating now as we get to the end of the so we just snip those off tidy it up at the back and there we go there is my heart with my stem stitch and I think it looks really really neat we could use this now for a hanging ornament or we could use it on the stocking or we've lots of different ways that we can use it so thanks for tuning in and i hope you'll give it a go okay bye thank you